who created all things, God himself. Where is this passage about the jewels written exactly? Revelation 21. Halfway through the chapter, you'll find all the 12 stones listed there. Starting in verse 19, you can read them. The first foundation was Jasper, the second Sapphire, the third Chalcedony, the fourth Emerald, the fifth Sardonyx, the sixth Carnelian, the seventh Chrysolite, the eighth Beryl, the ninth Topaz, the tenth Chrysoprase, the eleventh Jacinth, and the twelfth Amethyst. No diamonds, no rubies, no garnets, because they're isotropic. Now, isn't that amazing? If it was up to me, I for sure would have included diamonds and rubies in my collection of gemstones to build the most beautiful new kingdom, as would most people. On earth, husbands adorn their brides with diamonds, because we all consider them some of the most beautiful jewels on the planet. But God has known the properties of diamonds and other isotropic gemstones all along, and God was His new Jerusalem to be an extraordinary kingdom of light displayed through the only jewels that will magnify the light. This one thing alone proves that the Bible was inspired by God because nobody could have known this. No one knew about this until our generation. You can just imagine how beautiful the new Jerusalem is going to be. No need for do-it-yourself decoration there. No need for pictures or murals. No need. The materials that God uses will be far more than enough. Now, what's even more fascinating is that the jewels listed in Revelation 21, written by John 2,000 years ago, was not the first time we heard of these jewels. In order to find the original source of this particular collection of jewels, we need to go back 1,300 years before Christ, all the way back to the time of Moses. Back in Exodus 28, verse 17 through 21, God told Moses to write down the twelve gemstones that were to be on the breastplate of the high priest as he would minister in the tabernacle in the holy place. The twelve gemstone in Exodus 28 are the same gemstones in Revelation 21. Exodus was written about 3,300 years ago. God set it up in such a way that the twelve gemstones on the priest's breastplate would represent the twelve tribes of Israel, just as the twelve gemstone foundations of the New Jerusalem represent the twelve apostles of the Lamb. Now inside the tabernacle of Moses, it was completely dark, except for the light of the lampstand, the menorah. Imagine how the light from the menorah would pass through the gemstones on the priest's breastplate. What a sight to behold! But that is just a small glimpse of what the new Jerusalem will be, as the entire foundation of the kingdom will be made of gemstones reflecting the light of the glory of God. It would be impossible for Moses to have known the difference between isotropic and anisotropic jewels 3,000 years ago. Moses was not shooting laser beams through gemstones under microscopes in his billion-dollar science laboratory to find out which ones were isotropic and which ones were anisotropic. Moses was simply dictating the instructions given to him by God. God and God alone knew since the beginning of time what science has only just discovered now. These twelve jewels recorded in the scriptures thousands of years ago prove that God was the author of the Bible.